This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-350 crew cab, long bed, single rear wheel. Um, it is a 6 turbo diesel, it's four wheel drive, and it's uh, a Lariat, which is leather interior. Uh, the truck has 181,224 actual miles. It was purchased directly from a uh, dealer in uh, Phoenix, and it's a really nice truck. We drove it back from Phoenix, uh, ran great, and uh, Brought it here, we do an inspection. Uh, my guys hand me this. Uh, a, it's a clean title. Uh, 604 x 4 Lariat, crew cab, long bed, one ton, very well maintained and clean truck. Ba -ba -ba. What else we got? What did we do to it? We did a driver, driver side ABS sensor and caliper and a new steering gear box. We were driving it back. Uh, my brother drove this back. He didn't like the way it tracked. Um, and so we changed the gearbox and now it's fine. So. And since whoever who the previous owner was put brand new tires on it, it'd be ashamed to not have the front end right and chew up these brand new big O tires. Um, which brings you to another obvious thing. People don't put brand new tires and spend $1,000 on tires on a vehicle that's not a good vehicle, right? Um, at some point, obviously, somebody's decided to put a black grill on it and the Murica Ford thing, which is cool. Um, hood has a little bit of lacquer checking, very common. In uh, Arizona, there's a little bit of touch up right there. Um, very common in Arizona, Texas, anywhere where it gets really hot and vehicles spend any time outside, especially dark vehicles, you'll get that. My brother will take uh, 60 to 80 HD pictures in that photo gallery. You will see a little magnifying glass icon that you could dry, drag over any photo, uh, any spot in any photo. And uh, it's literally like having your face up against the truck. I mean, you can see it better than I can see it standing here using that. So if you're worried about cosmetics, you're concerned about something you see, please use that. That way you'll know exactly what it looks like. You don't have to be here with that uh, feature. Point of these videos really isn't to sell the vehicle. Uh, selling the vehicle is easy. Um, it's making sure that the right person buys it and that they're happy. And the way we do that is by throwing every bit of information we have at you. Um, we'll do, I'll show you the Carfax, I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book. Um, I'll take you on a ride, we'll go under the hood, I'll take the oil cap off, look at blow by. Everything that we know, you will know. One of the things that I've noticed lately is a trend, there's a little touch up right here, is a trend on uh, 07 and older F-250s is they like to change the rear bumper and the whole look to 08 and newer so those are 08 and newer tail lights tailgate and bumper i don't get it i think the bumper does look better and so i suppose maybe they got a deal at whatever yard they bought this at and bought the whole package together i don't know i i think it's kind of a waste of time <coughs> and money but i see that quite a bit lately i see that with side mirrors too those are the correct side mirrors but I see that a lot with that also. A uh, little touch up here and here. I think I saw another spot too. Yeah, right here. Right there. Um, anyway, like I said, my job in these videos isn't to go rah rah and cheer on this truck and tell you something that isn't isn't true. It's to make sure that you're you're uh, well informed so that there's no drama after the sale, especially if this truck's going to ship out. People who are shipping need to know that they're buying they're, they're paying for what they're getting uh, touch up line here and here and there's a little ding right here it's a good looking truck but I am gonna point out actually, a little touch up here too right there. Um, I am gonna point at the uh, stuff I see uh, and experience whatever if we're driving or something going on I will tell you 181,349 miles so a little extra mileage on there because we just uh, we just uh, drove it back from Phoenix all right yeah let's go under the hood make sure the doors are unlocked all right first thing we want to look at Ford stamp. So there's a Ford stamp on the fender. So this is an original fender. Ford stamp on the core support. 
very clean motor. Very well maintained. Cat sticker where it goes. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. So you know everything under the hood is original. Otherwise, it wouldn't have the Ford stamps. That's a good thing. That's nice. Almost zero blow-by. That is a very good thing. Here's your Ford stamp here on the hood. So everything up here is original. So nothing's been crashed and put back together. Window. All right. Let me go through this stuff for you real quick. Like I said, here's the Kelly Blue Book on the truck. Uh, long bed F-350, 181,000 miles. Typical listing price would be $15,256. In my opinion, based on what I saw at uh, the auction today in California and Anaheim, that would be a steal. Um, here's the Carfax. History events affecting this vehicle's value. According to the Carfax, they combine it with the Kelly. Uh, they think this truck is worth 17.3, which is more like it in my opinion. Uh, there's the VIN, no accident damage, no damage reported. Uh, I did this Carfax yesterday, 5-14-19, so it's, this thing, this Carfax is maybe a day old. Uh, interestingly enough, I think this vehicle has a theft in its history for a couple days. We sell a lot of theft recoveries, but we didn't buy this as a theft recovery. I think I saw it somewhere in here. Could have sworn I saw those words. Uh -huh. New tires, big O, they got the tires on this thing at 179, 140. So what, 2,000 miles ago? I could have sworn I saw that. We gotta go back and look. Could have sworn I saw the, oh, there it is, right there. 121 of 09, and it was recovered 124 of 09. They didn't do anything with it, really. They just probably returned it to the owner. But typical, uh, there's a manual in there. Typical F2, F350, F250. Everybody wants to steal them. Buy a club. All right, seats work fine. Perfect. truck I like this truck now that the steering is a little bit tighter I'm surprised the guy put brand new tires in this thing and didn't do the gearbox first he probably thought the tires would make it drive better that's probably what happened that's probably why he traded it in when he really needed to get a steering gearbox And they're not that expensive and they're not that hard to put on but I'm sure that he was quoted at an outrageous price so he traded it in bin right here I like to go around all the door frames just so that everyone can see everything like I said uh, it's very important that everyone knows what they're buying here or we're gonna have drama and drama is not good for the internet we don't do drama so everything we know you're gonna know mirror out in down up other side out in up down got some adjustable pedals up and down all right, that works fine. 
Feet seat on and off. Seat forward. It's gonna have to go way forward for me. Forward and back and up and down. Tilt up and down. Rear up and down. That works fine. Seats are in great shape. Really good shape. Tilt wheel. Works fine. Alright, let's get some air conditioning. It's warm. We've been really lucky. We haven't had a 100 degree day yet. Mid May, that's really good. But it's coming. I can feel it. There's your moonroof. That thing's moving pretty good, so the motor's still good. Let's see how slow the power slider is. That's that. Ooh, that's excellent. He must have replaced that recently. When they have more than 100,000 miles, you usually don't move like that. Obviously, an aftermarket radio. I doubt he's got it. Oh yeah, he actually, he actually paid for it to be linked up to the steering controls. Huh. Interesting. That's uh, the steering controls. At least the volume. There's the manual controls for the AC. Temperature up, down. Let's see. Let's try the steering controls. Up, down. Temperature up, temperature down. All right. So everything works great there. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's see. What else? There's tow. It's me doing that. Tow on and off. On and off. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let me get my seat adjust a little bit better here. All right. Let's see. Let's do a systems check. Engine temp okay. Transmission temp, temp okay. Oil pressure okay. Brake fluid level okay. All doors closed. Air filter okay. 137 miles to empty. System check complete. All right, let's see, what else? Let's go to neutral. Let's go to four low. Now we're in four low, four by four low range. Drive. That's definitely four low. And reverse in four low. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go to four high. Low range goes away, we're still in four high. Drive, that's a little quicker. And reverse. Perfect. All right. Neutral. Now we're gonna go to two-wheel drive. Go for a ride. See a little. We had something mounted here. Probably a phone or something. Um, all right. If you come to Sun Drive at home. You got a hell of a nice truck to drive home in. Um, you will uh, pay the following if you come to drive at home. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city of 2.7 percent and a $250 dock fee very simple if you're gonna pay by wire and ship once you receive full payment by wire we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address we will sign it off to you we will scan that immediately into your online file so you'll see it immediately and we'll mail it to you we even scan in the envelope we mail it in okay you'll have the truck shipped to you obviously uh, almost every time you'll have the title before the truck shows up when the truck shows up you'll just take the title you already have uh, in the truck down to motor vehicles in your state and get plates. It's very simple. Uh, this thing runs great. And uh, one ton single rear wheels don't ha aren't nearly as stiff as the dualies are. So it's not nearly as bouncy. Um, the dualies almost demand a trailer uh, to have a decent ride. Um, the single rear wheels don't. It's actually a lot better ride. Um, and you can go through the drive through <laughs> I seen a, saw a dually the other day that attempted that feat. That didn't work out. All right, uh, what's next? Um, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Once we have your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com, and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it will stay for sale. This thing runs great. Awesome. Um, blah, 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 blah. So please make sure you get your deposit in, okay? Um, Last part of this video, I say this on every single video unless they still have factory warranty. Um, 
I, if you watch any of our videos, watch the last two or three minutes and you'll hear me say this. We don't have salesmen to pay. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a latte machine for you to, you know, pour your own little lattes and a snack bar and muffins and a massage chair and a TV and DVD players and game room and the whole bit like they do at the dealerships nowadays. Uh, so you're not paying for any of that stuff. You're also not paying for uh, uh, future repairs because we're not adding money to the price of this truck for future repairs, okay? Uh, point being, the day you own this truck is the day you own this truck. You're not going to get a check from us from the second you're the owner on for parts or labor or anything, all right? Uh, we sell them at, at a price that leaves lots of room for you so that uh, if something needs to be repaired, regardless of when, you will not feel like you got screwed, okay? Um, we are not Nostradamus. We don't know when they're gonna break. This thing has obviously been really well maintained, but you never know. I mean, the day you get it, it can need a window motor, it can need a freaking, I don't know, the radio could decide to take a crap, even though everything's working fine now. You never know, all right? And we just want people to know that uh, that's how we operate. We're not trying to squeeze every dime we can out of it like they do at brick and mortars. Uh, we're an internet dealership. We got to move cars quickly, so we do, all right? Um, and I say this, if you watch every video we have, I say this about everything we have online. This is how we roll, okay? If it doesn't work for you, some people it doesn't. Um, that's fine. We don't have any cars in our inventory for you, all right? But if you understand that you're saving money and you're good with, you know, realizing that eventually everything breaks and this will break eventually too, you'll have to fix it, then you're good to go. We give you lots of information, Carfax, Kelly Blue Book, uh, what we did to it, what we know about it, and uh, so that you can be the owner on day one. I think that's about it. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you, if you notice that rear bumper, the parking sensors do not work because they changed the rear bumper on it, all right? Uh, I don't even think it has parking sensors in it. We could have found a plate that would remove this from it, but you never know. You may want to use it again in the future and get a you know factory bumper for it uh, for, you know, an 07 or older, like, what is it, 03 to 07, and then you'll want that. So we just left it. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.